Welcome back to the rock climbing training series. In this video I'm going to show you how my pull-up sessions look like. So I start my pull-up sessions by doing 10 pull-ups on the best holds I can find on the Beastmaker and I do this four times with about one to two minutes of rest in between depending on how I feel. And when I do these pull-ups I try to be rather fast and explosive. Next I do these offset pull-ups where I have one hand on the big jug or the good hold in the middle of the hangboard and the other hand on the outside of the hangboard on a smaller hold. And I do five of these offset pull-ups on each side and I do this twice again with one to two minutes of rest in between. After the offset pull-ups I switch back to normal pull-ups but this time on the small holds on the outside of the beast maker and first um, I do the pull-ups with a three fingers open-handed grip again six pull-ups and again two times. Then after this I switch to the pocket in the lower row of the beast maker and I start with the middle and ring finger which is my stronger pair of fingers when it comes to two finger pockets and after that I will switch to my middle and index finger where I'm considerably weaker and again I try to do six pull-ups in a row um, and if I don't succeed as you can see here I will just take a really short rest and try to do the remaining pull-ups until I've reached six pull-ups in total. So here I can do only one pull-up at a time after I did three pull-ups. Um, but I continue like that until I've done six pull-ups in total. So I think this, this time it was three plus three times one. So after these pull-ups on the pockets, I switch again to the crimp and I do six pull-ups on the crimp again but this time with a four finger half crimp grip and I do this twice with one to two minutes of rest in between and after these pull-ups um, there is more or less the main part of this training it's one arm pull-ups or to be precise assisted one arm pull-ups on this middle edge where I try to incorporate a short lock off when descending I do this four times on each hand and here I take three minutes of rest in between because it's a very intensive exercise. After that I do six pull-ups on the good sloper and again I do this twice with one to two minutes of rest in between. And to finish my session I usually incorporate some campusing. Here it's very convenient that I have this door frame which makes it a little more fun. Um, but to be honest, I normally don't do this, I just came up with it during the current times where we cannot or could not climb outdoors to spice the training up a little bit and to incorporate some fun. If you don't have a door frame like that, you can of course camp only on the beast maker. Well, that's it. I hope you liked this insight into my training and I hope to see you soon again on the Rock Climbing channel. Bye guys.